it is said that it is said that the best teacher is the best patient our failures also give us a lot of learning so we will see today the cases and the learning there from so should i begin uh, kavitha and you want to introduce yes dr ajit we will start <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Ka Homeopathy Study Group Pro Bono Webinar. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So nice to see many of you from different countries and different time zones. Before we start, we always thank universe for giving us this great opportunity. Today, April 10th, 2022, Happy World Homeopathy Day to all homeopathic fraternity. With much gratitude, and tribute to our founder of homeopathy, Dr. Samuel Hanneman, on his 267th birthday, remembering all great pioneers of homeopathy. And Dr. Sweta Singh, our CAR Chief Administrator, will start the session. Thank you, Dr. Kavita. Uh, myself, Dr. Shweta, CAR Chief Administrator, and it's my privilege to introduce CAR Homeopathy Study Group Pro Bono to all of you present here. It was organized and founded by homeopath and humanitarian Dr. Kavita Kukunur, president and CEO of Kavita Holistic Approach, Ka. This study group is intended to be an offering from Kavita to the homeopaths around the globe, sharing goodwill and solid uh, clinical work within the classical model are foundational principles for the Ka. Ka mission and vision are very unique to inspire young homeopaths, mentor, provide excellency for educational purposes using holistic approaches via webinars, which are based on principles of classical homeopathy and provide professional continuing educational homeopathy credits for practitioners. We provide merit certificates for spreading the light of homeopathy around the globe. Dr. Kavita is a member of Kevin Friendly Foundation, a nonprofit organization that helps to serve poor people in greater needs in India. She is the recipient of Martha Ullman Community Service Award by National Center for Homeopathy and Best Entrepreneur Award from Dr. N. Linga Raju, Principal of JSPS Homeopathic Medical College, Hyderabad, India. We are extremely happy and proud that we celebrated 10 years of her book, Beyond the Limits, a challenge to prove oneself. And in our uh, webinar, we ha happily celebrated one month of her second writer, her ebook. A uh, dose of spirituality with Kavita, and Dr. Kavita donated the proceedings of the books through Ka Homeopathy Study Group platform to various charitable organizations and homeopathic associations. To name a few are Kevin Friendly Foundation, CHC, DHMA, GSPS College, BT Seva, NCH, and many more. We will share the recording link in the Zoom chat box, and interested ones can have the glimpse of the book. Pre uh, Purchase link will also be shared in the chat box. As of now, we related to homeopathy, health related topics and inspirational talks available on our channel, Kavita Kukunur. This webinar is moderated by myself, Dr. Shweta Singh, and it is being recorded as we speak and we are live on Facebook. We will take questions at the end of the webinar. We will po uh, post jot form in Zoom webinar chat at the end of the webinar. So please fill the form to receive your certificate. If you're watching live webinar, you can email us at carstudygroup at gmail.com. Kindly mute yourself and turn your video off for better connections. Thank you so much. Over to you, Dr. Kavita. Thank you, Dr. Sweta. She manages our car activities with cute smile. Happy birthday to our Ka volunteer, Dr. Nupur Shah, today. And I thank Ka Homeopathy Study Group entire team for the continuous selfless support with which we are able to make our pro bono activities and webinars yes. so beautiful. These webinars are for educational purpose only and should not misuse any of the course content without speaker's permission. Always seek an expert homeopath for treatment. Global Marathon, which Dr. Jawahar Shah and Enlightenment team has organized and connecting from April 8th to 10th, 2022. And also JHC 2022 from April 22nd to 24th. So many of us are part of this wonderful events. Today, our honorable speaker, 
professor dr ajit kulkarni with very interesting topic case to concept the case is the best teacher no introduction is needed for dr ajit kulkarni he is an experienced classical homeopath academic and world renowned teacher practicing for over 35 years and one of the leading homeopathic physicians of india dhms from mumbai gold medalist di homeopathy from london hmb uk and post graduate diploma in psychological counseling he is the director of homeopathic research institute satara and pune he is also honorable emeritus professor for post graduate md courses in homeopathy at several homeopathic colleges in india expert in many research projects conducted by new delhi central council of homeopathy he has been teaching homeopathy in india and abroad trained over 3000 students conducted more than 130 international seminars and workshops in different parts of the world to name few vice rector for distance education of the academy of homeopathic excellence via homeopathica he is the editorial member of national journal of homeopathy co-authored many books absolute homeopathic made in america five repertories on particular pathology aids diabetes thyroid to name few hypertension and trauma he is author of several books body language and homeopathy homeopathy through harmony and totality three volumes the law of similarity in medicine homeopathic posology potassium drug group and many more more than 100 publications on various aspects of homeopathy many articles and books have been translated to several languages 25 books in russian to learn more about dr ajit please visit www.ajitkulkarni.com and he is also a part of our book ebook a dose of spirituality we are so honored and thank you so much dr ajit for your precious time and we welcome you to our webinar please would you like uh, would you like you, to speak thank you everyone and uh, i appreciate uh, the energy the spiritual energy of kavita and swetha singh and uh, uh, you see vaishali dubal as well as uh, one of my students nirupama desai from satara itself so it's a really global it is said that uh, we community possess the holism so we begin with the holism in each case there is a holistic approach nothing is isolated in life life is an indivisible whole no emotion is solo and mono in the same way no disease expression has a solo solitary existence this is the reality of life not understood by many of us today we will try to see this holism this connections between the components of the totality totality is comprehended provided we become totalistic in vision this is the basic requirement to understand the totality i begin with my presentations we will have a discussion i will prefer the interactive group discussion within the group and not only a dry lecture from my side so i share the screen yeah <clears throat> first is a case of dermatology number so what we are able to see the growing lesion of cauliflower like type which may be benign some scientist say it could be malignant biopsy report is benign but if it is increasing so rapidly we don't know how much it will be increasing patient is on hypotensive therapy since 2011 uncontrolled blood sugar level more than 400 mg per liter post prandial so you can see now the lesion 
and uncontrolled diabetes. Plus the rapidity. Now we will combine everything together because everything is connected to everything. He had small hard nodules over the collar area. There is also history of styes, which are of a repeated type. So you have the growth, you have the small hard noodle styes repeatedly. So there is a much more psychotic miasmatic dominance, preponderance. Plus this illness of diabetes uncontrolled, plus this verucious hyperplasia. Yeah. Let us have family history. Diabetes, hypertension, angioplasty in father. This is suggestive of both psychosic and syphilitic miasmatic history. Patient is obese, 120 kilograms. Yeah. So this is a additional factor, very important factor for diabetes. Blood pressure, in spite of taking hypotensive, is 140 upon 90, which is touching the maximum normal pressure with hypotensives. Warm blooded, sun exposure causes itching, and perspiration also causes aggravation of itching. Thirst usually increase, no desires but aversion to milk. It doesn't consume milk at all. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like the smell of the milk. Perspiration on the neck while eating and sleeping. Pillow gets sweat. And this is since childhood. A consistent symptom since a long duration. In all transitional phases of a human being, maybe childhood, adolescence, adulthood, whatever it may be, then it is very important. Consistent gesture in body language is important. Constitutional disposition and character of a human being is important. Consistent emotion is important. He is sexually active. Even during this condition, he wants to do the sex because his sexual desire is heightened in spite of this illness. This is important. So we have good amount of totality, no? We have physical genitals, we have, we have pathology. We have now the pathology, which is at the level of many, many things, no? atherosclerosis, diabetes, metabolic, benign to malignant pathology. So the case is rich, no? So when the case is rich, homeopath should be happy. Now let us study his life space. He easily makes friends and says that none of my relations <clears throat> has been bad. So I am okay with everyone. I am friendly with everyone. My father had a huge loss in the business and I started working from 18 to 19 years of his age. Very early, no? Since then he had been working and working. He opened a new company 2013, working alone. He sustained business loss during 2011. Then he developed hypertension and diabetes. See the evolution now. See the energy and what is happening to the energy. I'm not angry. I never lose my temper and go out of control. He uses the word, I never lose my temper. I don't have control over my food. I postpone the work. So there is a procrastination with him. I work at the last moment. 
I perform good at the last moment. So performance is good. Although he procrastinated. There are many people, no? They do the things at the last minute, but may be successful. I could be bossy or dominant. I don't run away from any situation. I face the problems of life. I stood by my commitments. I'm the decision maker in my family and no one opposes me because he is dictatorial and no one has any place. Although he is friendly, this is, this is his combination. He lost his baby at the age of two years due to some choking of the lungs, maybe pneumonia. Now he has a daughter, 11 years. He likes to travel and he likes to work. These are the two things for his life. And he wants to clear the throat always. <clears throat> this is his way. During the interview, who made it many, many times. Very interesting, no? Yeah. So I want you to participate now. I have given you the pathology. I have given you the evolution. I have given you mental characters, physical characters. So you must discuss with me now. Kavitha, those who want to take the part should be unmuted and the participants to, should raise their hands. Yeah. So I am with you now. Yes. Yes. Vaishali, do you want to say something? Nirupama? There are a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, uh, Indians, Hitesh, Hitesh Shah is a very good practitioner from Mumbai. I'm very happy that he is here. He has also raised hand. Yes, Hitesh, we are eager to listen to you. Yes. Allow Hitesh, Kavita, allow Hitesh. Dr. Hello, good evening, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Dr. Yes, good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Uh, so what I appreciate in the case that everything started uh, uh, mental stress and the morbid pathology at a very young age with uh, financial insecurity due to father's business loss. So I believe what was driving him in his life from young age was making money. And then he himself went into business loss, which again must have created a lot of insecurity. And he came down with a lot of pathology, advanced pathology at a very young age, including hypertension and then diabetes. And with this strong psychotic background and this venereal disease, uh, uh, his sexuality reflects in two ways. One, the venereal disease, I'm sure he must have had uh, you know, uh, other exposures in terms of sexual relations, as well as uh, his strong sexual urge and need in spite of the problem in the genital area. So uh, considering all this, the remedy appears with this financial insecurity, the advanced pathology at young age, and uh, money and sexuality in the core, calcarea floor appears to be the remedy. Number one. Number two, 
strong psychotic expressions uh, also leads to thuja and uh, i uh, the disease pace is very rapid and this is a borderline pathology where it, it is benign although on the reporting but it has a potential for malignancy so we have to go very very uh, aggressively in terms of high potency frequent doses with antimiasmatic remedy so calcafloor and thuja combination with almost alternate day uh, alternate day uh, observation monitoring and i don't know what will be the role of local thuja marketing Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's all, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Yes, Hitesh has given a lot of very good insights. Yes. Anyone, any other participant who would like to reflect upon? Yes. Yes. any american homeopath should like to say something there are many people from many countries i would like to see you to listen to you yes yes anyone anyone okay so we will discuss the case we have only 2 hours kitesh has given a very good road to travel upon we have the psychosyphilitic fundamental miasm in the same miasm a combination of psychosis and syphilis is now preponderant because of the age young age because of the pathology because of the rapidity pathology and the pattern of response pathology and pace of the disease must be studied in unity pathology for a homeopath is not only in the label of the disease pathology in which organ pathology of what type and whether the pathology is slow or rapid or rapidly progressive so progressive is a pattern of response in my objective analysis of the data i have given n number of pattern of responses to study and we have a rich plethora of rubrics related to patterns of responses of the human beings we should exploit them to understand the totality to understand the movement of the systems language the way in which the system manifests the totality this young man is headless at one level he says that he is committed it is very clear that he is work maniac it is very clear that he is driven by the materialistic impulse to be rich to be after money because there was a loss of two events father's loss and his own loss in the business uncontrolled diabetes is an indication of his nature he doesn't care he is independent goes ahead so the energy of this man is going ahead energy is not a pause of stationary of static of transitory type it is a ever used type of the energy to be in motion to be in movement to be forwarding himself in the life 
This is what you see as far as the energy pattern of this patient is concerned. The same theme we are able to see at the level of the disease. So the disease expression and his system's language is giving you the same analysis. This is important in this case. For example, we have a case of rheumatoid arthritis where the mind is very active, but with the deformities, the physical body has become incapacitated, disabling, slow. So mind and body are variants with each other. This is not the state in this case. Everything counts in homeopathy. Nothing is independent and isolated. The only thing when we begin the constitutional treatment is whether the homeopath possesses the vision of totality. This was exactly written by my guru doctor, ML Dhole long back. To understand totality, one must possess the vision of totality. So this is very important in this case, how everything goes into a shape where the connections are clear to us. If the connections are not clear, there are two reasons behind it. Maybe the data inadequate. Patient has no data, maybe possible. The second thing, whether the homeopath possesses the sufficient skill to make the data A2. A2 means accurate and adequate. If accurate and adequate data is elicited through a skillful interview, where he has at the background, the vision of totality. Then he digs deeply in to know the diamonds in the case. This is what we call as a characteristic symptoms. So let us have now repertorization, elements from business failure. We have nothing like uh, Virusius hyperplasia in our repertory, but we have condylomata, the growth related to the genitalia. Then I took uh, condylomata general and condylomata penis just to make the totality. I use a repertory in multiple ways. I use a repertory as a very important intelligent device to find the remedies. And it may not give the remedy. Matara Medica is the Supreme Court. So we have then milk aversion and perspiration in the cervical region, waiting the pillow, which you know very well is a very characteristic of calcula carbonicum. So we have now the filter, calcula, sepia, phosphoric acid, sulfur, naxomica, nitric acid, antim chart, natrium mole, belladonna, natrium salt, staphys agria. Lycopodium, okay, phosphorus. So I will give you a differentiation of them because uh, we are in the educational mode and not only the presentation of our successful cases. This is not the purpose. The patient is warm blooded. Calcara carb, we know is the chili patient. In Calcutta Cup, the theme is in. And they are in the same alkaline earth group. So we have Calcutta because of the psychotic miasmatic dominance. Aversion to milk is very characteristic of calcarea. So calcarea is there. Which calcarea we have to define? In the data, some components give you definitively some group. Then the cation and anion relationship we have to define. <clears throat> and if you have a very good understanding of them, then the remedy could be selected 
appropriately then comes sepia sepia is very chilly our patient is warm blooded sepia comes up because of its action over genitals sepia is not so friendly because it is at variance with the cell the concept of the space in sepia is like sulfur it is none of my business so she is not so much engaged with the others i will talk with uh, hitesh later on let me complete the issue of the differentiation my book on sepia has been published in the russian language a long back i gave a seminar for more than 4 or 5 hours on sepia actually the sepia is a very important very mysterious remedy like the cuttlefish itself you know sepia has to be studied through ingredients it has sulfur it has a uh, zincum it has uh, you will find melanin magnesium calcium and it has also the water surrounding it the natrium each ingredient has its share in sepia and i have to give you a statement that although sepia is an independent identity with all the ingredients together there are some sepia where you will find calcarea dominant in some sulfur dominant he doesn't give you the evolution like sepia he doesn't give you the the personality like sepia then comes phosphoric acid phosphoric acid comes up because of the sexuality in phosphoric you get both responses like all acids group activity followed by exhaustion if the patient is in activity he will show you more sexual activity and then the consequences of them then you have elements from excesses in sex although it is very personal and then you have a plethora of symptoms related to dysfunction you have uh, you see ed erectile dysfunction you have premature ejaculation you have decreased sexual desire then you would like to compare it with agnus cast hitesh is also working as a sexologist he will tell you something more about it also and then you have the pathology in phosphoric acid with a diabetes you get more early complications of diabetes in phosphoric acid phosphoric acid represents the dark side of the phosphorus when the phosphorus is very overactive and now you get the hypoactivity passivity the consequences of the activity like when you go from solar to psychosis and then to syphilis this more this is phosphoric acid evolution the indifference and apathy comes later on so you have many phosphoric acid cases in practice which have not yet embraced the indifference like sepia i have found many sepia women who are very loving to their children may not be to the husband they are not indifferent indifference comes later on so we should not be totally influenced by sepia's indifference always then comes sulfur sulfur is materialistic but sulfur is also non materialistic he is so messy so living with the dirt that he is rich but you see he doesn't give you the behavior like a rich person although sulfur has many personalities also this hidlessness is also sulfur 
he doesn't concern with his body he doesn't concern with others what others feel so he is inconsiderate of others and there is a great selfishness what is mine is mine but what is yours is also mine every warm blooded patient of diabetes i say must be given in his lifetime sulfur because insulin molecules contain sulfur because cysteine metabolism the glucose metabolism is dependent on the sulfur and if you read classical symptoms and complications of diabetes you will find sulfur comes up as a high rank craving this is just a interpretation of understanding sulfur in diabetes mellitus my uh, big article of almost 20 pages on diabetes is published on hpathy.com please read it then comes nakswamika yes businessman chidi for me business is very important nothing else but nakswamika is agitated atheistic angry irritable expressing the anger out our patient has he boast he has no anger it is difficult to keep belief on everyone is angry but at what level and degree everyone doesn't boil at the same degree that is the quality of anger we have to find out when we have to select that anger so acid nitric acid anger is different from nakswamika nitric acid comes nitric acid in this case comes up mainly because of uh, you see kandulamata type of uh, growth plus cracks relations in acid nitric acid are also of the same time cracks fractured relations toxic relations like anacardium his relations with everyone are good he is friendly with everyone this may be why he is successful independently working since 18 years for acid nitric come to keep the anger bottled up inside is very difficult because it is acid and with nitric acid you get so much anxiety and trap sensation like argentum nitric acid in acid nitric acid with this anger you also get sympatheticness which this individual doesn't express at all he expressed the death of his baby first baby in such a you should dry way there was no any emotional attachment to it this is something which is very important when patient expresses to sensitivity something we have to see the language of the body and we have to see the emotional tone the pronunciation the intonation how he talks how he gives the history therefore homeopathy is a very perceptual way of dealing with the patient and this is a very individual perception and this is the most difficult and required aspect of homeopathic practice then come antimonium tartaricum a very important remedy which has got like antim crude a lot of constitutional peculiarities i just uh, two months back gave a uh, webinar for the israeli people when i described the personality of antim tart today i can't give because we have less time then we have natrium muriaticum yeah this man is not a man who is uh, so much emotional to feel hurt by the others and brooding and so much investment of his emotions in the others he appears to be a practical man dealing with the money and trying to live his life but there is a heedlessness this is not natural then comes belladonna yes belladonna is friendly and cheerful but at the same time belladonna is extremely angry because this is a wild side of belladonna 
ਲਾਈਕ ਸਟਾਫੀ ਸਗਰੀਆ ਯੂ نو ਫਿਲਿਪ ਬੇਲੇ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਸਟਾਫੀ ਸਗਰੀਆ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਲ ਇਨ ਹਿਸ ਐਕਸਲੈਂਟ ਬੁੱਕ ਹੋਮਿਓਪੈਥਿਕ ਸਾਈਕੋਲੋਜੀ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਵੇ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟਡ ਬੇਲਾ ਡੋਨਾ ਪਰਸਨਲਿਟੀ ਲੌਂਗ ਬੈਕ ਡੂਰਿੰਗ 1995 which will be a part of my harmony in book second value so belladonna is cheerful sweet and then he becomes a wild also and our repertory and material medica is very rich to give you all these plethora of symptoms and behavior then comes uh, natrium sulfuricum psychotic miasm growth cauliflower like growth diabetes mellitus Sudler gives very importance to natrium sulfuricum in diabetes mellitus but still he is not natrium sulf because natrium element is not the cup of the tea for this patient then comes staphysagria staphysagria has a very vulnerable pride and it it's a kind of a hero ship you see staphylococcus aureus has to be understood through the wounded pride my pride is very important for me there is a heartiness and you become vulnerable and so you try to be human first you try to be submissive first so under the rubric submissive you will find staphylococcus aureus exactly opposite the aggressiveness so you have a combative behavior also fugitive behavior also in the body language so these are stages of the human beings these are a flip flop paradoxical characters of the human being yes human being is made up of all this he is a mix of all this we have to see the preponderance we have to see the evaluation part of this and then we have to see the consistent part of this to understand the human system so you have staphylococcus aureus phosphorus lycopodium yeah lycopodium does suffer from business failure he is workaholic he is perfect he has also procrastination like calcarea cap but he does the thing at the last minute very well still he is not lycopodium because the lycopodium is not so headless and lycopodium is centered upon his inflated ego is building up of the image in the society he just going ahead with his energy money business loss doing the business and headlessness yeah now i want to enter with you and i want to listen to hitesh and some other people yeah so i will stop the sharing and i will be with you and then we will go with the discussion of this case i will stop the sharing and i am with you yeah yes yes hitesh uh yes sir so you uh, mention about differentiation between agnus castus and phosphoric acid in uh, patients with sexual weakness so in my clinical sexology practice as a homeopath whenever cases come of hypoactive sexual desire disorder that is low sexual desire and or erectile dysfunction these two remedies often comes up and with our holistic approach in homeopathy i have been able to extend my Uh, assessment of patient and management of patient in two diverse field one relationship assessment and counseling as well as two the work area or the stress level assessment and management now if i connect this aspects in our day to day life in uh, you know in modern day uh, lifestyle of patient now lot of patient have like uh, you know relationship issues in marriage and whenever there are personalities who undergo a lot of emotional disturbance like grief or passive anger like chagrin what is described in homeopathic matiya medica to so grief chagrin 
and you know suppress emotions where they cannot express in front of a wife who is either aggressive or there are issues between wife and parents uh, husband's parents and he tends to have a lot of suppressed grief and sadness about it unhappiness and then he progressively develops sexual uh, dysfunction Okay. And as uh, our literature classically describes in phosphoric acid, the emotional or mental weakness or stress or problem first starts and leads to physical weakness. Yeah. So that, that is a classical way in which that those things progress in such cases. So this is predominantly in the sphere of relationship issues. Now, yeah. on the other hand, nowadays, a lot of people have work stress with long hours, global uh, time they're working in and you know competitive world traveling so many things so in, in this stressful uh, uh, environment there's a lot of nervous exhaustion which also leads to sexual weakness and that is where agnes kester's typically comes up yeah thank you thank you yeah. uh, thank uh, you yes yeah any other participant would like to reflect upon some input? Only you can't expect Hitesh and me talking. It is not good for the participants. Nirupama has written very well over work at an early age and strong sense of duty and responsibility. Yes, someone has written about uh, Medorinam, Thuja. What uh, is the difference? Yes. Can I say hello? Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, I was thinking about Medorinum and and Tuya because this case is uh, strongly um, psychotic, and um, I think uh, that uh, his personality is very is very very typical Medorinum type because he is uh, sexual. Uh, he has lots of uh, energy despite of uh, uh, being diabetic with uh, hyperten uh, hypertension and uh, being obese, uh, he, he has a uh, strong uh, sexual uh, vitality and uh, he's passionate, he's uh, uh, powerful, uh, dictatorial, I, I think, because he, you, you said that um, he, he is... Um, in his family, he is uh, uh, very important. He doesn't like contradiction. Uh, so, uh, and and this is very uh, medorinum, as we know, it is great and remedy, antipsychotic, antipsychotic, okay. and uh, it, it has uh, uh, condylomata, and it's. Uh, I, I, if it if it was my patient, I, I would prescribe medorinum first. Okay, 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 Senia. Any Thank other you. input? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Any other input? Any other remedy our participant want to tell? Hello, Dr. Kulkarni, sir. Good evening, Kruthik yes, here. Kritik. Oh, very nice, Kruthik. Yes, welcome. How are you, sir? Yes, very fine. I'm before yeah. you. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah. I'm very glad to see you, sir. Yeah. Uh, actually, sir, I agree with this participant, the, the last one who, who said about Medorinum, because I was also thinking in that direction. But you have given a beautiful differentiation and the descriptions between the two remedies, acid, pos, and agnus. And uh, also, uh, to your note, uh, the, the insulin element which contains sulfur is, I think, uh, 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 a words of pure wisdom from you, because this uh, probably like I can connect now with my clinical experiences where the people of diabetes need sulfur uh, more or less as, as at some point in, in their life or time. So complete uh, heads off to you. Wonderful uh, perception and, in the, and in the interpretation. Thank you, sir. Yes, okay. yes Kutik. Okay, now I must give you some understanding between uh, Thuja and Medorinam. Thuja is very chilly. Medorinum is warm blooded. Thuja is consensus in comparison to Medorinum. The morality is there in Thuja, although he makes mistakes like Medorinum. But in Medorinum and Thuja, there is one common thing. 
they make mistakes and go into the pattern of anxiety with anxiety in thuja you get conscientiousness i am guilty so there is a self reproachment in thuja which you don't get in medhorinam because medhorinam is more you see after gratification of the instinct especially sex like hyoscyamus so at least for medhorinam you will get that uh, uh, conscience is there he will use the conscience and may refrain himself in the long run from gratification also which is not possible in medhorinam because medhorinam energy is at a different level it is too abundant like fluorine element this is the reason why seni also wants to push medhorinam in this case because the type of the energy this individual possesses is like medhorinam there is a one side which is also important of medhorinam that is restlessness these are the people who are always in motion and locomotion like arsenical bomb like rustox this side of two chili remedies together of restlessness is vividly blended along with zincum and sulfur in medhorinam so there are four remedies which are embedded in medhorinam about sulfur and zincum already i think bogor or something wrote almost 150 years ago hats off to them but if you try to understand medhorinam very well we have already given at the length medhorinam in absolute mater america and i also wrote a very separate article on medhorinam in my this harmony book in the second volume so the theme with medhorinam is jumping is constantly in motion and locomotion this is a very important aspect in comparison to the energy of thuja second thing very important is the fragility concept which you see in thuja i am made up of glass and i am you see uh, now vulnerable to break this concept you have to understand like silica they are vulnerable so they could be broken down due to disease due to neuroticism due to big incidences in the life so medhorinam is irresponsible headless whereas in thuja you get some kind of conscience and commitment also if they are with a partner girlfriend or boyfriend they think that they are responsible and committed although the sexuality is a part of the love relationship but with medhorinam they could betray others they could run away from the responsibilities this is basically because you see the ganokokai characters you have to understand i have in my article over medhorinam given this relationship based on doctrine of signature what is ganokokai what are the characters of the ganokokai and how they could be related with medhorinam especially the mental state so you read this article i will send this article to kavita within few days okay so these are some of the differences between these two remedies okay we will stop interacting with you and we will go to the uh, share of the screen and uh, our uh, result because uh, we have less time so kavita can can call me uh, many times to make more presentations in future okay yes dr rajit it is very interesting and we have many audience who wanted to participate actively and it can go long for more than another uh, one hour but um, yeah we will try to finish wrap up in two hours means in the yeah. sense like one more hour is there but we will bring you one back more. again thank you okay 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 this is a case of atopic dermatitis you are able to see big lesions crushed yellow redness 
beneath the crust you get the moisture the pus the whole body is affected mother is weeping many doctors steroid steroid injections topical steroid applied daily nothing is working homeopaths are being consulted they give a lot of remedies and then one of my uh, very good students from masco referred this case at me i have been uh, going to masco i have gone masco at least 28 times and there is a school of mine and i am associated with uh, many organizations over there we have huge teaching and learning with the russians with the bulgarians with the europeans with the israeli people so this is a very interesting case so you will think up a lot of remedies okay the child uh, is crying very badly daily and uh, mother is weeping itching is worse in the evening and when he starts itching he just arches his head at the back like opisthotomus pushing up the pus from the skull pus is greenish yellow in color profuse sweating on the body sour smelling so you get the characteristics no this is the beauty it is improbable that you will get no characteristics at all yes if you if you try from the bottom up you are hard with the skillful interview it is possible to get the individualizing features yes and if you do not get there are many methods how you can select the remedy yes i have been working over this project also what should be our approach to the one sided tcs therefore we develop a concept which we call as a monogram concept so you have family history now cancer hypertension with stroke and parkinsonism this is a syphilitic miasmatic history in atopatic dermatitis in children and other in all to immune disorders in children the genetic transmission of the miasmatic forces is very important for the intercurrent prescribing in homeopathy you must study there for genetics and epigenetics epigenetics is a very promising field for the research for the blooming homeopaths the young homeopaths yes have an entry in epigenetics you will get a lot of homeopathic way of thinking homeopathic entry at this level will make homeopathy more and more approachable to the suffering humanity yeah so you have a very important case now in atopic dermatitis i have already written a big article Uh, you will find that i have found uh, that uh, if the uh, mother ha has been taking uh, eltroxine thyronam for hypothyroidism then often thyroidinum is very useful if the patient has gestational diabetes during uh, pregnancy i have found sulfur helonius acid phosphoricum and insulinum very useful as intercurrent remedies apart from the constitutional prescribing often i give a remedy of the constitutional type of the mother to the child also if i do not get any symptoms and the case is one sided so there are many new ideas about atopic disorders during children okay so now you have a first prescription was calicidra sulfuricum because of the thick yellow greenish pus and crust and beneath the crust and you see itching and uh, sour smelling perspiration which is typical of the calcarea no? and magnesium no especially magnesium carbonicum okay so after calcarea sulfuricum a little bit improvement not very much i persisted with it wait and watch for 15 days no further progress you can see the redness yeah okay then many other remedies uh, i gave of course these remedies were also given in the past by homeopaths i am one of them because we don't go deeper to understand the patient 
this is our mistake so majorly on silica mercury sulfur calcinocinum natrum medorinum tuja vaccination bacillinum tuberculinum many many remedies were tried no result and now steroids parents don't want to give antibiotics don't want to give because they have given so many times that they told me even if the child doesn't feel better we will stick up to homeopathy so our responsibility increases then i try to understand the patient further let us study deeper mother sister during pregnancy had a quarrel with husband when the mother was pregnant for 2 months this tussle continued for long become intensified and finally husband left the mother of our patient during fifth month of pregnancy mother felt cheated humiliated and depressed she tried her best to conciliate but in vain she wanted the relation to be continued she cried a lot she was loving the husband but husband found a new relation the mother of our patient felt as if her soul is separated from the body this is her expression she had thoughts of suicide but due to the child due to the pregnancy she refrained herself so much depression she wanted to attempt to suicide so what this slide gives you this slide gives gives you she didn't want separation separation is difficult separation is amounting to suicidal attempt separation is so painful i i, I cannot tolerate separation how my husband will leave me when i am pregnant with him he is a father where is his fatherhood and what the wrong i did i am loving i am with my husband and my husband is not with me so there is a feeling of being cheated betrayed humiliated grief and constant in interview i didn't want the separation still i want him in my life still yeah what will you do now i will not uh, engage with the people because uh, it will take a time so the theme of this case is mother's mental state and its influence over the child in terms of active and activity my big article on active disorders and homeopathy has been published on hpathy.com where i have given all the ideas which autoimmune disorder as the theme of this uh, autoimmunity comes up so you must read this article you will get a lot of insights i think the autoimmune disorder is a autoimmunity itself which is you see not working for you but against you so when the mental state becomes antagonistic and hostile you experience something which is against your harmonious process of your life your mind doesn't accept this and then the mind just goes in a different direction this direction is destructive to yourself the same thing can happen with all emotions also guilt for example is a very strong internal horrifying tormenting emotion which can lead one to us at to immunity so the study of emotion study of life study of evolution of human being and its correlation with the process of the disease these are very important aspects in understanding the totality forget about symptoms symptoms are always there behind the symptom there is a phenomenon and phenomenon includes the cause and effect together they are not separate to think that this is the cause and this is the effect is one of the mistakes in medical science 
we treat the phenomenon which is inclusive of everything as a single spectrum as a human system totality i call it as a organismic wholeness so in this organism wholeness you get the illness this illness cannot be a separate entity from the organism of wholeness this is the idea and we have to see this idea vividly in the patient so we will go ahead now yes the remedy which was given is dna philips robbins made a proving of this which was available on internet for a very long time i made a very good personality profile and i present this remedy in my book absolute homeopathic mathematic long back so you will get dna being represented adequately with a lot of relationship of remedies in my book dna preparation is from the human dna double blind control study was uh, performed in the drug proving so we have adequate and accurate drug proving this is point number 1 point number second which is very important is the theme with dna is double helix structure and any glue any weakness any injury can have great consequences so you have a very small fault but huge effects and the theme is with this double helix structure i want to be united i cannot think of separation because we are born as one structure so husband and wife are not separate they constitute one solitary unit of a family so husband is not separate from wife wife is not separate from husband they grow together as a family as a one family this is the idea of dna so these are the people who are attached to the others like kali group in general except kali bromatum and kali iodatum and any separation at any level is extremely painful and then it could have consequences what you are able to see my soul is separated from me such a deep feeling the mother experience and we are able to see the consequences of this over a child in terms of autoimmune process see what happened this is a very interesting case if we are with the logic if the logic is correct the result is good sometimes it happens also in homeopathy your logic is correct but there is no result then you have to apply other logic as yes it, it can hurt so so we gave a single dose of dna 200 this is the picture of the original one before dna 200 okay now you see now after one month are you able to see the lesions are less the hard crust are less the thickness of the crust is less there is no moisture there is no pus formation okay wait and watch you see the recovery now no repetition nothing just one dose and wait and watch are you able to see yes next one you see now the child is looking at me as if he is sleeping because he had to sit for a long time unfortunately and then you are able to see normal skin almost on the face little bit on the right cheek you get some eruptions otherwise face is clear almost 70 80% you get lesions being cleared off of the scar one no repetition because dna i call it as a basic remedy basic remedy concept you have to understand very well all the trace elements from which the remedies are prepared calcium natrium magnesium these are basic remedies of mother america 
because we present them in one way or the other. And they have huge performance functioning, physiological functioning in our body. Okay? You see the picture, the patient is much better, no steroid, nothing, no antibiotics, just one dose. This is the beauty of Mater America. This is the beauty of Hanuman. How many times you will salute Hanuman? 100 times, 1000 times, 1 lakh times? Potentization. Scientists don't understand. Being an international teacher, there are so many questions by many scientists to me. I told last week to one scientist, a very good friend of mine, he told me, there is no research on homeopathy. I told, I am a homeopath working according to the law of similars. Who told you that I am a scientist? Do you want to say that all uh, homeopaths are scientists? No, you are scientists to do the research and prove why homeopathy is working. And if you have no capacity, you tell we are very weak. Instead of calling homeopathy weak, call yourself weak because you have to be introspective. It's your job, not our problem. We are the honest students of homeopathy where we follow the law of similars and try to teach and try to give remedies as healing for our patients. And this is a very big job for us. Hanuman is great and uh, homeopathy is great. It is enough for us. This approach is also important, although I will expect every homeopath working also as a scientist, but it is not so easy. Okay, so we have one dose and remarkable disease. Then we have further many, many photographs. And then we have the last photograph after four or five years because the patient left Moscow and went into a different city because she got married. She found a very good man, very happy. And so our patient is also happy. So we have uh, one dose. I repeated one more dose in this case in 200 potential, almost uh, after uh, something like uh, nine months or 10 months, because there were some eruptions that came back on the scalp. It started itching, and there was some uh, mucopurulent discharge coming up. So I decided to repeat one more dose of DNA. 200 with very good result. So these are two cases which I have uh, given to you. And I would now like uh, some comments from the participants over this case. If they give something insightful and new, we will accept it. No repetition, please. Yes, I will stop sharing before I go into the third case. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you can, uh, Nirupama, you can read DNA from my book, Absolute Homeopathic Mental America, published by Beijing Publishers. It is a big, big book of 1250 pages. It contains 150 remedies. It's a very deep Mental America. I have been associated with this Mental America since 40 years. So this is the seventh advanced edition. So everyone must know this work. This is a work of my teacher and me. My teacher was Dr. P. I. Talkas from Baroda, Gujarat, from India, and who devoted his life. And he died at his young age of 93 years. He started working over the project of Materia Medica since 1945. I joined him during 1980 when I was a student of homeopathy. So almost 12, 41 years I have been working with this very excellent work of Material America. You should not uh, 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 criticize me that I am advertising this book. I need no advertising, but it is a very useful book for you. Okay, yeah. Uh, there is a question now, why not natrium sulfuricum? Yeah, uh, it is very important that this state of being grief due to separation. You will find after grief, there is a very hurt feeling. And then 
with natrum it is difficult to develop the other relationship so if you see the evolution of a mother it is not of natrum this is the point number 1 second thing natrum self has hard thick crust but very less mucopurulent discharge they are less suppurative like kali sulfuricum if you read kali sulfuricum is more suppurative in comparison to natrum sulfuricum so these are some of the differences then the child is not crying like natrum sulfuricum or natrum group in general when the child cry has to be understood you see natrum borax which is a derivative of the natrum group natrum sulf and natrum cow these are the remedies of cry the cry in natrum is more due to grief they generate the grief it is not that someone is uh, giving them the the grief they automatically develop that you are neglecting me you are giving me suffering and they start crying this crying is a very pitiful cry you get the feeling that why the child is crying so deeply with grief this child is crying out of physical complaint so this is not natural in this case now you see what is important is when you have given a host of remedies to the case based on the current totality it doesn't work in a curative way because something deeper has to be found out and to be dealt with this is the idea the idea is that what kind of the direction and the plane you 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 choose if it is not working you have to be so open that whether other direction gets open and can i ride as a homeopath across a new direction because i will tell you uh, homeopathy is based on a true science it is not something speculative and imaginative and all these ideas it is a very true science in the sense that a homeopathic remedy allow the system to go towards the direction of truth because cure cannot be without truth i mean when you steer the system towards cure it must be after truth then the destination can be achieved this is the idea so sufficiently you must be very open as a human being to immediately see whether my pathway is wrong or inadequate rather than calling it as a wrong pathway then a new road new highway may be long highway may be shortcut highway you have to find out this is the idea okay then self control to shoot himself please differentiate and guide uh, amitra raj what exactly you want to say self control to shoot himself yes i am not getting here yes you, amitra raj you differentiate it sir you differentiate it sir thank you okay okay Thanks, okay sir. then okay. Uh, okay. shahana has given about kindly elaborate the reason why you selected the remedy dna yeah i explained to you the deb- double helix structure in uh, uh, dna proving the main theme is i cannot remain alone i have to be in a pair i have to be with strong desire for company and i cannot tolerate tolerate being abandoned so when you have the abandoned feeling you must think of dna like magnesium like uh, ambra grisia like natrum group in general like shura so the theme is abandonment theme is forsaken theme is being isolated loneliness feeling being repudiated neglected cornered sidelined so this comes from within being self generated or it can come from the other people also then second thing dna becomes a very important remedy in autoimmune disorders not only uh, atopic dermatitis it has a very big role to play in many disorders i have been using this remedy in two conditions juvenile rheumatoid arthritis and the second psoriasis 
because both of them are active immune in nature. Now in one case of multiple sclerosis, where this multiple sclerosis developed after her husband took the divorce, this is a case from Europe, I began with DNA with very good results. Her constitutional remedy is conium, but intercurrent remedy is DNA. So all the pathology and the mental state is with conium, but still she wants the close relationship with the ex-husband. Not only that, she often calls the ex-husband for the purpose of sexual activity with him. So much she is connected with this ex-husband still after so many years. So you need a very deep understanding of the life of the patient. So symptoms is a different idea, you see. I again tell you, because you see, we are lost in the stories. We are lost in the imaginations. We are lost in our ego. So can, can homeopathy be practiced transparently where we become more realistic? This is the idea. Okay, then... Uh, uh, I will go to the third case now, whether you want to tell something more. Yes. Yes, Hitesh. Yeah, so some uh, very uh, striking observation. While the child is so beautifully getting cured and healed, the mother is also healed and happy in her personal life. Yeah. It is a very <laughs> good, important observation. Uh, and I what I am trying to understand further, so yeah. mother has now disconnected from that uh, experience of trauma of separation and she has united with, uh, with her life partner and is emotionally happy. Yeah. What I further derive from this, if mother's negative energy led to morbidity in child, the curing of child or healing of child has reversely healed even the mother. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, because it's the same energy field. Yeah. Mother yeah. and child. Yeah. Uh, Hita, it's a very interesting story about this uh, mother. Uh, when we saw a very good response to DNA, we were just thinking uh, about this case with the Moscow homeopath. And uh, Moscow homeopath asked me, Sir, should we give a dose of DNA to mother? I say, uh, why not whether she has any problems? No, she has a still a very big problem. She wants to be with the ex-husband. And she cries often. She remembers often. Not only that, the ex-husband comes in her dream very often. So we gave almost six, eight months after one dose of DNA 200 to the mother. Only with this mental totality, nothing else. She has no <laughs> okay. any physical complaints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> superb, superb, sir. Yeah, yeah. And Hitesh, I wrote an article over inheritance, hmm. constitution, and relationship of remedies. So the okay. concept is that a remedy is a father, for example, graphitis is father, mother is pulsitila, and the yeah. child is born with some characters, both of them combined together. <laughs> Yeah. And then you have a very different remedy when the symptoms are very less. You have a one-sided case. Sometimes this approach is very useful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So beautiful cases of DNA, mother and child. What I felt strongly one keyword, monogram keyword for DNA, companionship. Yeah. Yeah. Companionship because of the structure, the double helix structure. Yes. I work together. So togetherness. Togetherness yeah. is the yes. central thing. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Yeah. So I will now present to you the last case and then uh, we will have a small discussion. This is also a very important case.
my way here. Okay, this is a case uh, of a head injury. A little bit different case, but you will learn a lot because I learned a lot. Okay, this is a case which is uh, narrated by my student. So her write up is there. I'm just a, you see, counselor and advisor about the removal. So Master Krishna, four year old, is sustained a head injury yesterday evening. Since morning, he has started vomiting constantly. Not only one vomiting spell. The pediatrician uh, was consulted and he refused to see him because uh, he directly, after looking at multiple vomiting spells, advised for CT scan of the brain. Then the student rang to my student about this because that student's neighbor is the sufferer, Master Krishna. So the thinking with my students, head injury in a four year old man, my student discuss with uh, me means that student and call the parents to collect Arnika Montana. And she suggested to hold on CT scan because CT scan in a medium family in a village is expensive. And she didn't want to immediately go for all these investigations and let us see. That was her attitude. And I don't think it is a wrong attitude unless the patient has become convulsions and serious and uh, uh, unconscious. At 4.30 p.m., vomiting is still continued. Krishna has become more drowsy and now fever has set in. So he's worse, complaining of headache also. First, yeah, often he asks for chief supporter. We will meet at Sir's clinic, meet Ajit Kulkarni's clinic, and then he will guide us. So I examined the little boy, conscious but drowsy, neck rigidity was absent, and also there was no further deterioration except the vomiting and slight drowsiness. He is deteriorating. So Belladonna was prescribed every two hours and the report whenever necessary tonight. I focus on three points, elements from the injury, thirst for small seeds during fever, which is also covered by Belladonna. So Belladonna is not 24 hours, 365 days in all patients, always thirstless. Read report. And vomiting during headache. Belladonna is a very good remedy for immediate head injury consequences with some sub edema and congestion. At 10.40 p.m., vomiting is still there. Fever is also there. Feels much drowsy and has started to complain of a right-sided temporal occipital headache. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, he is grinding his teeth since afternoon. So, Sikuta was prescribed. I reportalized the case and found that Sikuta is matching very well. Head injury is matching, vomiting is injury after a head injury, then uh, grinding of teeth during fever. So Sikuta Virosa, 30 every hourly. Next morning, no vomiting, better. Fever and other symptoms are there. He asked for biscuits also. I think he's improving. In the evening, same day, no vomiting. Teeth grinding is remarkably less. He has become a bit of fresh also, but headache and fever are present. He's not ready to get up. Actually, symptoms are less, but he's not better. I mean to say that the activity pattern of the child is not there. Still, the child is drowsy. It doesn't want to get up at all. So his level of energy is not good. So the theme was whether I should continue with Sikuta Virosa or any other remedy. And there was a one new symptom, protrusion of the tongue, often repeated protrusion of the tongue. So there was a new symptom, grinding of teeth. I dealt with it with good result. Now protrusion of the tongue, I found whether Sikuta covers, no. The change in symptoms because of the energy in an acute 
is a very serious study a pattern which gets newly developed in an act i presented six modules of acute build up of totality hitesh helped me a lot in further very good insights so i really appreciate his uh, help to me so the concept in the acute is when the change is occurring is a homeopath accepting the change and trying to understand the whole situation the remedy may be the same or remedy may be a new one so i decided now at this stage to repertorize the case because it was at this stage that i was consulted all earlier thinking is with my student arnika mond belladonna sikota verosa i was not actively engaged now i am actively engaged because patient is before me now so i report to like the case injuries of the head after dryness thirst we sleep heat comes on during protruding tongue headache during a sleepiness headache during and the remedy that came through and through was lachesis lachesis is now a remedy in all injuries when there is a further progress after belladonna after aconite after arnica montana after ferrum phosphoricum after sulfuricum acid even after ammonium group in general do you know ammon mur and ammon cam are very important remedies for head injuries in your repertory make ammonium group for 3 to 4 marks i have on my record several cases of head injury with unconsciousness responded to homeopathy very well i have full presentation for more than an hour over head injury cases coma cases i treated 18 cases of coma during my 35 years of practice with homeopathy homeopathy has a very big role in neurological cases therefore a neurologist must have a very good friendship with homeopath for the sake of sake of a patient the earlier you begin with homeopathy better better results patient improves improves and improves okay so after lachesis like given in 30 potential not high potency every 4 hours and you get an excellent result nothing remain to treat for the next day so we save the money of scanning an mri brain with very good results uh i can give you some understanding about head injury some of the observations arnica is very good but arnica has huge limitations Borland has given a very good indication that if a patient of arnica now develops drowsiness of progressive nature, stop arnica mont and go to opium. Just a practical clinical tip. You must know the type of the head injury, and head injury is of many many types. according to the type of the head injury the remedy has to be selected because you don't get so much data if you get observation body language it is very good but you may not receive them anoxic hypoxic type of injuries where oxygen supply is suspended or totally stop it was transitory stop and the patient has a lot of consequences of this the remedies are different then you have to focus upon those remedies where oxygen is the main thing do you know bogel synaptic key begins cuprum metallicum with the word suboxidation very interesting no do you know heliborus is one of the remedies against hypoxic head injuries i treated one case and the patient was in coma semi conscious for 62 days 
patient consulted me on 63 days and with heliborus patient regained the conscious fully i have all the video recording of this case so we have a plethora of remedies to deal with cases of brain traumas brain pathologies cerebral injuries thrombosis thromboembolic phenomenon and host of neurological diseases so this is all about uh, uh, today's three cases if you are wishing i can show you uh, uh, some other cases also it depends on you or you want to discuss with me i am ready yes, kavita sir, please show sure. yeah yes shahla yeah yes so be open be open to ask me questions may be related to other cases may be related to uh, uh concept of totality matra medica repertory yeah dr swetha would you like to take any questions please and dr mamata is also here both yeah thank you dr kavita and uh, sir i have uh, already cleared all the questions so there is no more questions here in the chat box one question i have kept in the chat box so dr okay. ajit to be sickness sickness the swan remedy so in with respect to the separation so just would you like to add anything the dna remedy and this one how we can differentiate please actually uh, this remedy signus i have not used i have not studied and i am very sorry i can't answer this question yeah no problem and this is from dr jermy shirts when i was uh, taking his course so that's how i came okay. to know very so nice. very interesting very and one feature in that one is that she cannot bear the separation so yeah. one soulmate in lifetime so that is the peculiarity of the remedy and uh, thank you so much very nice you know uh, jeremy share also presented a very wonderful remedy germanium to the homeopathic community germanium is also the theme of oneness now oneness is also a theme of dna in oneness you become one with the other this is the theme also in carcinosinum this is also the theme with hydrogen so you have now three remedies which can be differentiated at large with the concept of the oneness in this three remedy the concept is different the hydrogen is a part of water water is a life we cannot think of our life without water so hydrogen is so much inseparably linked with oxygen and we cannot think of our life without oxygen so there are two things which are very important in hydrogen that is water as essential and as oxygen as essential so relationship becomes extremely essential in hydrogen this is one side of understanding hydrogen the other side of hydrogen is related to the sun related to the helium related to the inflammation and the anger and the heat so the mind is heated up and if the betrayal occurs hydrogen can become inflammatory to the others like the acid group 
where acid nitric acid can become extremely angry towards those people who have insulted. So hydrogen is little bit going in a different direction also. Then comes the germanium. Germanium has the theme that I am separated from my body. I am separated from this earth, and I have gone somewhere in the earth. So the connection between earth and the sky. So it is as if the realism, the ground, has been left out. And how I can come again to the earth to see my reality? So what is my reality? My friend, my boyfriend, my husband, my relationship is my reality, and I have gone away from this, and I want to return back to this relationship. This is also a theme like DNA with germanium, and with carcinosinum. You know, it is a very deep understanding of the cancer cells, their behavior, how they generate in our body, because everyone is born with at least eight to ten cancer cells. and the theme of symbiosis cancer represents the failure of symbiosis because i want to grow at the cost of you at the expense of you at the energy of you i want to eat you because i want to just grow then they do not follow the discipline of the human system of the organismic wholeness of symbiosis so symbiosis i need is carcinosinum in a relationship so we can have a lot of thinking processes so logical thinking processes when we discuss a lot of remedies at a very deep understanding of the human psyche this type of thinking where we do not use speculations but we have the logical string of thought coming from the source coming from the doctrine of signature where everything is explained very well this type of material medica we need to evolve and present Before the homeopathy community, yeah. So we have uh, two yeah, or three please. questions. Okay. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, can you please uh, give us hint about vanilla? Yeah, I have already uh, given about vanilla many cases. Now you have to understand the theme with vanilla is uh, the flavor part of vanilla. Vanilla is like lilies family, lilium tree. attractive to the others and there is a part which is seduce seducing the others so vanilla is a seduction part it means that uh, a lady of vanilla will try to seduce you out of her beauty out of her courtship gestures this is one aspect of understanding vanilla the second aspect is i want everything standard elegant i cannot tolerate something which is inferior so she becomes materialistic she becomes everything i need very beautiful so i would take the dress which is expensive and branded and thus i will have sufficient resource of beauty and influencing upon the others this is my flavor so she uses the flavor she accomplishes the task through use of her flavor so the life is centered upon the central issue of the flavor this is vanilla and vanilla therefore if she is with disappointment in love when she cannot tolerate the no from any other relationship then she goes into hysterical pattern so vanilla has a lot of history also like pothos like raphanos like ignatia like even amra grisia so it is very interesting i had a very interesting case from bulgaria of vanilla where the main complaint was very severe backache after disappointment in a relationship and she was a very seductive type of the lady her eyes were very attractive and sexual and i built up the totality and gave her vanilla and her chronic backache entirely 100% stop with vanilla so i reported this case in one of the webinars also so vanilla is a very interesting remedy and i must thank uh, the uh, uh, organizer 
who proved his remedy and gave a wonderful adequate proving to the homeopathic community. In case of yes. newborn baby's disease related with her mom, can we give the selected remedy to both of them? Uh, what is the question? Yeah. In case of uh, newborn baby disease related with her mom, mother, can we give the selected remedy to both of them, to the baby and the mother? Actually, I will prefer first the uh, baby to be treated, then. Uh, if you are able to find a constitutional remedy, a relevant remedy in a child, then immediately don't jump to the mother's remedy. If you do not get a good response, then you find the remedy of the mother as a constitutional remedy. And then that constitutional remedy can be given to the child. Yeah. Uh, next question is uh, your insights on metridonal remedies. Matrimonial. Matrimonial. Means, means, what exactly you want to ask? Yeah. Dr. Nirupama, can you please unmute yourself and ask the question to sir? Yes, sir. Uh, this is Nirupama. Um, I wanted to ask about your insights on matridonal remedies, uh, the remedies that are derived from the uh, human tissues related to pregnancy and motherhood, uh -huh. placenta, okay. amniotic yeah. fluid. Uh, I wrote uh, two papers on SARCODES uh -huh. and uh, I gave almost more than 10 indications how to use SARCODES, like my 13 indications how to use the intercurrent remedies. Uh, now, it is very important that uh, uh, organotrophic remedies based on isopathy uh -huh. have a really a very uh, good entry in homeopathy with limitations. You must understand that causative similarity is the very basis of isopathy. So you get the similarity at the cause level, not necessarily at the effect level. Mm -hmm. Homeopathy concept of totality is merging of cause and effect together. Mm -hmm. So you cannot treat only the cause. Without any connection with the effects, then your totality will be inadequate. So any isopathic prescription may be useful, but you mm -hmm. must know the limitation of it because they do not correspond with the whole totality. This is a very important aspect of understanding the limitation of the isopathic therapy. Then where they stand? They stand when the pathology is present, the pathology is chronic, may be advanced, may be stuck, and the patient doesn't respond to the constitutional remedy then he needs some intercurrent isopathic remedies at the level of the tissue so that the okay. tissue repairs, the tissue gets into a, you see, solution of its own by regeneration process okay. or by something like a concept of a neurocirculation of different type or neuroplasticity concept, which is described in neurology. So in all such cases, yes, it is possible to prescribe. For example, I have been using folliculinum in cases of PCOD since a very long time with good results. Now, currently in some very uh, stubborn cases of uh, PCOD, I use ovary as a remedy mm -hmm. with good success rate. One of my patients had for more than two years, no menses and after ovary, 30 repeated daily just as an experiment she had menses so they work in some selected cases but with limitations so i think we have to develop in which cases they are needed so uh, can we repeat them can we repeat as all other remedies also them these are all the considerations of homeopathic clinical practice this is the reason why i wrote a big article on sarcos so your question is related to, you see, hormone, use of hormones, use of animal tissues, human tissues, healthy tissues, in order to boost the energy of the tissues which are diseased. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Next question is 
Good evening, Dr. Kulkarni. This is Ashok. Yes, yes. I was expecting your voice. Uh, I, I, I was eager to listen to you. One of my very sincere students. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have to ask permission from Dr. Kavita. I have small three questions, but in case the time is over, you can let me stop it. <clears throat> the first question that we were talking about this uh, uh, case of this sarcos means a lycopodium person having 10% only the sperms, possibility is very less. In case we think about the testis as a remedy to be given, is it possible? How many chances in your life that it is possible to make this person a valid person? The impotency is really serious. The people are yes. suffering. Yes. Thank so you. To answer your question, if your constitutional remedy is right, you have used intercount remedy, no zone, and everything is not working, the oligosperm is still there. I hope yes. it is not a uh, total stoppage of the spermatogenesis. I will persist you to give an organotor of the remedy daily also. Because if you don't get the result with constitutional, stop constitutional. I am a practical man. I want to deal with the case. I want to try in many ways possible. Yes. <laughs> Even if I use human semen potentized farm, I will use it. Even I will prepare myself a remedy from the semen of this patient also. Give it to the pharmacy, will prepare yeah. it and can give it for a very really long time also, daily also, for many months also. I have no huge problem. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. We have this one <clears throat> pharmacist who is working exactly whom made, he's making himself all the remedies according to the very precise Hanumanian systems. So all this alum potencies he's making, maybe I can ask him that. Thank you very much, first question. Second is that we were talking about vanilla. There are three yeah. things in front of me. The haughtiness of that person want to select this vanilla, very precious things. Other side is a platina. Another side, there is a rubric of conium that she want to have a best clothes, you know. So where I will wanted the space to understand the vanilla, very uh, perfumes. Oh, I, I will tell you. The first very important is that you must understand the soul of vanilla and the soul of conium. Yeah. Basically, when vanilla we are discussing, we are discussing the fragrance part of it. Fragrance is not a word only to be taken into account from the standpoint of order. Yeah. Fragrance is a captivating idea. The industry of fragrance grow in billions of dollars mm -hmm. because it has the capacity to stimulate the dopamine in the brain. So idea with vanilla is this one. A lady of vanilla is capable to stimulate the dopamine, capable to give the stimulation itself. It happens with actors and actresses, no? Because we cannot be Shah Rukh Khan, Amitabh Bachchan, no? we are we. So we cannot uh, captivate in this way. Every individual has its own way of fragrance, you see. But with some people, there is a big fragrance. There is a wide way of captivating the other. This is vanilla. Whereas conium can better be understood by the way of Socrates. Why it was given to Socrates? It was given to Socrates because, according to some people, he was wrong. So when wrongly suffered people, they are honest people. For example, Conium has the central theme of deprivation of sex. And because of culture, because of ethics, because of a lot of, uh, you see, uh, uh, problems, they cannot have open sex with anybody the sexual desire is suppressed, honestly suppressed. They suffer from a lot. What is Socrates telling you? I am right, I am right. And what is the theme with hemlock poisoning? You are not allowed to sleep. Because when you sleep, you will suffer from respiratory paralysis more. The theme is that when you sleep, first, it is difficult to get up. 
So first, everything is aggravating factor in conium. You know, first effects. Conium has uh, symptoms of coughing when you first lie down. It has breathlessness in asthma when first lying down. It has problems when first doing the sex with a partner. When giving first lecture in the in the homeopathic webinar with Kavita, there is a tension with conium. <laughs> So the issue is first effect. So the central idea of conium is anxiety, restlessness. I didn't get my fundamental rights. I am depraved. And then comes the sheepishness. Conium is a remedy for sheepishness where the will, drive, and motivation are being affected tremendously. So the patient cannot apply his will to the others. What you see in carbonium sulfur atom, in conium, in lack of goa pamra glycia. So the thing of conium is a very important issue. You cannot apply yourself. The same happened to Socrates, no. He cannot apply his muscles, nerves, brain, mind, and consequently succumb to the death. So conium is for this idea. And you know, prostate, malignancy, and conium go together. This is a very interesting study which I made, and I think my paper on prostate um, is being published at hpathy.com, where all these ideas about prostate gland and many of our remedies, agnoska, phosphoric acid, staphes, agria, lycopodium, cantharis have been given by me how the whole idea of prostate, because prostate belongs to male only. And sexuality and prostate are always related with each other. So these are very different ideas in homeopathy, which need to be integrated properly. That integration requires a lot of in-depth analysis. All holistic ideas in medical science need to be integrated with homeopathy to make homeopathy truly holistic. A homeopath who takes history of one, two hours think that I have taken a holistic history. Okay, it is adequate quantitative history, I admit. Maybe qualitative, but that doesn't make homeopathy holistic. So it is a long way to make homeopathy holistic. And it is not a one-man job. It is a very big job, and we must do it for the sake of making homeopathy truly holistic. This is the reason why I came out with the body language book. Because when you say that 65% information the patient gives to you through the body language, you cannot keep body language away from homeopathy. This is the central idea. Okay? So... Sir, is there article question? on sarcosis available? Yes, article it is available. Sarcosis. Yes, I, I will give this article, two articles are there. I will give it to Kavita and Kavita should send it. So it is a big job for Kavita now. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> it was a pleasure and privilege to hear you. Yeah. A very small and last question for a child in sense yes. to understand the uh, 10 days ago, uh, one couple brought the child was ad admitted in the hospital because of the constipation. It was very terrible situation. Then somebody recommended. Mm -hmm. After looking at the child, very sympathetic child, uh, he was pr protruding the tongue as we were talking about the lachesis before, you know. Mm, the particular thing of the child was this tongue was bringing out and taking out. But in the meantime, no much information looking at the constipation of the children constipation of the dryness, constipation, uh, um, thinking about opium, bryonia, or nux vomica. But he was very irritated with the pain when the, uh, the parents will help uh, mechanically that he can, sh I don't know how to say, they will send, send them away. He was very irritated. So anyway, I was able to convince myself to give nux vomica in a lower potency for seven days, very small. But after eight days, the father told that he started to go uh, from three days, the regular uh, this, uh, going to the toilet. 
but so hard, very thick and large uh, feces that it was coming to me, Nox vomica and Brionia, maybe could be given this opium. But this protruding of the tongue that we were talking about that, the third, fourth remedy was in mind to looking at sympathetic, very smiling face, Lycopodium. So where we can think about a child with constipation and too dry uh, ly lycopodium also. Please comment. Thank you. Protrusion of the tongue is covered by lycopodium for three marks. So it is yeah. not the prerogative only of the snake remedies. Lycopodium has protrusion of the tongue also. The child is smiling is also lycopodium. Third point, stool hard and children constipation is also covered by lycopodium very well. So lycopodium is a very good remedy for the description of the case which you are giving. Uh, I will also think of opium in this case. Opium is of two types. Don't think opium only from the standpoint of uh, no urging to stool for days together. Opium is also a remedy for very hard stools, deep straining of the stool, nothing comes out or only small lump comes out. You read opium, you will find the same. And opium is again with suffering with pain because of the hypersensitivity and because of insensibility like stramonium, it has no pain and smiling. So opium and lycopodium, these are the two remedies which need to be differentiated at large in your case. If this constipation is associated with distension of the abdomen, go to lycopodium. If it is with flatulence, maybe loud, go to lycopodium. If the child only transitory suffers from uh, pain and then the child is very happy and smiling, go to opium. Opium has suffering much less. And the theme of opium is as if I'm in a paradise. So the word pain is inevitable, but the suffering is optional, is more applicable to opium. Yeah. Dr. Kulkarni, uh, my namaskar, and thank you very much. I always wait for a time will come to talk and to make questions, you know. And yeah. I have to say thank you to Dr. Kavita that she gave me a time yeah. to let me make all questions. Okay. Thank you this very much. It is the interaction with a very sincere homeopaths like you, like Hitesh, like Kavita, and it is a uh, it is a delight to be associated with you on Hanuman's day. So I salute everyone present here, Sweta, Kavita, and the organizers and. Uh, it's a new way of understanding uh, people and homeopathy. Yeah. Okay, Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you so much, Dr. Rajiv. And this is wonderful presentation. And since we block for only two hours today and we have exceeded, so we will bring okay. you back again. And sorry if we haven't answered any of more questions, but we will take it in future. And um, Today we learned many new things, case analysis, differential diagnosis in a different way and many tips for the right prescription and the rare remedy which I learned to use is DNA with that abandonment failing and uh, double helix structure. And we will look forward to get to your book, Absolute Homeopathy, uh, Homeopathic Metri Medicum and more body language. And um, so we would like to take privilege to honor your gracious presence and for your precious time in sharing your knowledge and wisdom with our study group, uh, with the card certificate, please kindly accept it from our team. Dr. Sweta, please. Dr. Sweta, would you like to speak anything, please? Yes, thank you, ma'am. And uh, thank you, sir, for such an enlightening session, such a beautiful session, uh, and uh, for patiently answering all the questions, all the queries of the participants. We are so fortunate to have you with us at our car platform. Thank you. Ma'am, how we can get those articles? 
<laughs> some of these articles you will get at hpathy.com and uh, some of my articles are also present on my website www.ajitkulkarni.com and if you write me personally you will get uh, my uh, email id also i can send my articles at you also okay thank you yeah. thank you yeah okay so post i take ajit's uh, yeah. Uh, yeah we will post dr ajit kulkarni's all the articles in our upcoming newsletter so and if you can uh, dr sweta has sent the link where you can subscribe so we will be posting the recording and the articles um there and uh, we can if you have anything you can share to our email and we will share it with dr ajit and uh, uh, kavita is dr. going to yeah. kavita is going to publish my three articles so for objective analysis of data i have uh, uh, tried to uh, do a data processing on a standardized and unification level through 20 points this is i think one of the good contributions because uh, everyone is uh, becoming a individualistic homeopath and we have so much of confusion and uh, ideas so whether it is possible to streamline all this thinking process together to make homeopathy more and more standardized this is the concept so with this concept at the background i have presented my papers and kavita is going to publish in her esteem newsletters so please subscribe to kavita's presentations and uh, read the articles and write to kavita and me your difficulties your way of uh, understanding my articles and if your genuine questions are there i will surely answer them Hey, uh, Doctor Ajit, the twenty points subject to analysis in that uh, chat form. Please have it, and we will share more of the articles. And with your permission, I would like to announce the upcoming event, uh, Doctor Ajit. On May fifteenth, we have two speakers, Ambika Waters, with the topic "The Realm of the Imponderables: Homeopathic Color and Sound Remedies, Holy Water, Gem Exlus, Prayer Remedies." And we have another speaker, Doctor Sharam. Dean of Canadian College of Homeopathy, who speaks about the road to clinical mastery through live case analysis, and many more renowned homeopaths lined up for our ka webinars, and uh, we will have Dr. Ajit again at our webinar soon, and we would like to uh, thank all the ka volunteers for today's who have been there, Dr. Mamata, Dr. Kurutik, Dr. Padmavati, Dr. Poonam Chaplani, and many more watching on the Facebook. and the uh, entire team i thank uh, our study group team for the continuous selfless support with this process and uh, thank you so much dr ajit would you like to say anything before we wrap oh, everything is harmonious <laughs> yeah and thanks thank for the harmony all. this is the reason why i kept uh, the name of my book homeopathy through harmony and totality <laughs> this is my volume number 1 it is more related to philosophical part and the mind part how to study the emotions and the mental the second part is related to materia medica and the third volume is related to repertory and my cases so uh, you can also enjoy uh, my books i am also a writer of homeopathic covid scope it is a kindle edition published by amazon.com you will get how to study homeopathically the disease covid 19 this is the theme i work in a more integrated way and uh, i think uh, you must read me to uh, understand my way of thinking of course uh, every good author has uh, many things to offer and we have to respect every author in homeopathy who has something insightful to offer to our community so much dr ajit and all the participants once again wishing you all happy hanumanian day happy world homeopathy day and um, with your permission we are ending dr sweta yes uh, my greetings to all of you on this world homeopathy day and the for the future updates of the webinars you can uh, follow our social media channels our facebook you uh, facebook uh, linkedin instagram twitter uh, with the name ka homeopathy study group for the recordings uh, for all the of all the webinars you can subscribe our youtube channel uh, with the name kavita kukunu 
please fill the jot form which I shared in the chat box for to receive your uh, participation certificate. You will get it in within one week. And uh, for any query, you may reach us at caststudygroup at gmail.com. Thank you all for joining us today. Shall I wrap up? Okay, Kavita, should I take your leave now? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. All Thank the you best so much. Sir. Take care. Take care. Thank you, sir.